All right, how's it going everyone here? Uh, I'm gonna be doing a quick tutorial on how to set up a command line version of WolfMame. I'm gonna be downloading the newest version and uh, go from start to finish. I've uh, got a few people who have asked, uh, you know, how they can get their IMPs to play back or how they can record their newest uh, games, um, you know, either to submit online to MARP or TG or just in general. Um, so first thing you wanna do is go to uh, MARP, which is uh, replay dot marp irc dot net and they'll have the latest version uh, listed at the top there which is uh, 0.169 so let's go to download that and we'll click there should be a pretty quick download yep very quick alright so when I open that uh, what, what I want to do is extract this to its own file uh, or its own folder I'm sorry um, you can set this up a couple different ways, but what I found is easiest uh, is to make its own folder under the C drive. All right, so you see I've got my old uh, versions here. So let's go to C. And we'll make a new folder called wolf main dash 0169. And it's going to extract, should be very quick. Okay, so once I go to my C uh, drive, you should see these files. Um, if you click on MAME Arcade, um, the application might work uh, right away, but it's not going to know where to look for your ROM files. It's not going to uh, have a config file set up, so I'm going to show how to do that as well. So the next thing you want to do is bring up a command prompt. Uh, you can just go command prompt under Windows 10. All right. All right, so let's go back to just the main C drive and then we'll change directories to wolf main dash 0169, which is what we named that folder. And then we want to do the command for MAME, which is MAME Arcade, you'll see it there the application name and then you want to do dash cc and what that's going to do is create a config file create config that's what that stands for that file right there was just added and after you do that you have to uh, set up your configuration file um, so you just open it it's a uh, text now the first thing you want to do is tell it where to look for your ROMs um, so I have a another folder set up on C with the newer set of ROMs, it's MAME underscore 161 underscore ROM. So I'm going to direct it to that folder. All right. And there's a couple other things I changed personally, just uh, based on my preference, uh, my personal preferences. So one thing I like to do is uh, play it in a window. I don't like the full screen effect. So I'm gonna look for the window option. All right, so window is zero. You wanna change that to one. And another thing I do is um, turn off the bilinear, fil bilinear filter. I turn that to zero, makes the sprites a little bit sharper. So obviously one is on, zero is off. And other than that, this is pretty much ready to go. I'll just hit save and those changes will be ready to go. So now when I go back to WolfMame 169, I can type in the command MAME Arcade and it'll bring up MAME, and it will know to look, uh, know where to look for the ROM. So I can just type in whatever I'd like to play. MIA is. Let's see if I want to play that one. I'll just type in MIA or whatever the name of the ROM is. Hit enter, and it'll come right up. And then there you go. You're off to play. Now, if you wanted to record an IMP file, 
uh, either just to play back for yourself or to submit for you know MARP or anything else or TG. Um, what you want to do is at your command prompt, you want to type in record the name of the ROM, let's just say it's MIA, and then space the name of the INP file. So when you hit MIA, it's going to create a, a file named MIA in the IMP directory. Here, but you'll see this is uh, my, my file is going to play back. Whenever you hit escape, it's just going to stop recording. All right, so I'll hit escape here. All right, so now if I want to play back that file I just created, I'll, hit, I'll type in playback, name of the ROM, and then name of the IMP file. And any uh, settings you change, if you change the dips, it'll, it'll actually uh, remember those. And it'll play back your inputs, uh, you know, for you to view or submit to uh, any site you'd like. Yeah, that's playing back. I'm not touching anything on the keyboard now. And using these basic commands, you can create. Now it's going to stop right here because this is where I hit escape. game over. Um, so basically using those uh, commands you can pretty much apply those to most versions of Wolf Mame. Um, anything before 106 for the most part was uh, not command line driven, it was a, a GUI driven so it's easier to use but uh, hopefully this helps anyone out and, and like I said if you have any questions uh, you can post in the comments uh, let me know if you needed help uh, setting your uh, your uh, Wolf Mame up to record. Thanks everyone for watching.